Thankfully, Sydney has made incredible progress. She's no longer in pain, and she is also here with us today to share and give us an update. Sydney, come on out. I remember when you were sitting on the stage right after the attack had happened and you'd been through so much. Mm -hmm. How has life changed for you since then? Everything has changed. Well, it hasn't. But I'm so thankful that I got to be on the show because the majority of change has come from you all. Like, you know, our killer, he has been caught. And <laughs> we're awaiting child now. And, um, you all have helped me with my confidence so much. And really, my main focus was to get the killer caught, but you all let me honor Aaron and show my love for him in a way that was just impeccable. So I thank you guys a lot. We're very happy. We're you. so, so glad yeah. you're doing so well. So, so give us an update. New prosthetic eye, yes, right? Yes, yes. I feel like a new woman. But um, <laughs> um, the first one, um, the healing time, I just didn't have enough healing time. So it didn't really work, but after giving it a year, I seen someone in North Carolina and she gave me a new one and it fits like a glove. You know, there's no issues, it's low maintenance, it's great. Oculo plastic surgeon Dr. Christopher Zumalan joins us and you say that Dr. Zumalan was a huge part of all of your decisions as you were yes. going through this entire process. Tell us about that. Just his heart and his just determination really and his genuine concern just and drive to help me, it was just it exceeded above and abundantly. You know, even when I went back to the East Coast and stuff, he was FaceTiming me, he was calling me, he was checking on me, doing all of these great things, trying to figure out what he could do for me. And um, he's just been great. And, and Dr. Zumalan. I know you, you're the expert on doing everything possible around the eye, and, and we talk about the use of, of fillers on the show to fill lines and other things like that, but, but adding volume using fillers in a case like this where somebody's lost their eye and it's all about getting that prosthetic to just fit perfectly, tell us about that. Her eyelid was droopy as well initially, and we thought that some of the nerve was injured from the bullet fragments or just from the swelling. And thankfully, it was more like the swelling because the eyelid, as you can see, has popped up, and it's fairly similar in line to the other eyelid. We were thinking about doing an eyelid reconstructive surgery, but now what's left is some uh, volume loss, and that is very commonly seen in trauma like this where the surrounding structures are in the eye socket are also shrunken. So fillers can certainly be a great option. And I think for the safety factor, uh, you know, just for the healing, and uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna try to do some filler treatments around the upper eyelid and lower eyebrow area to achieve more of a symmetric appearance between both eyes and to rehabilitate her and get her as close as possible to where she was before this event ever happened. That so. sounds like a great idea. Yes. Are you up for a little filler today, possibly? Yes. Well, yes. I, I have a question for you, though. Okay. So they caught the killer. Yes. Your recovery is going well. Yes. You look amazing. Thank you. I'm so happy that you feel good you. on the inside yes. and you look amazing on the outside. But I hear you have one more exciting update for us. Yes. Are we dating? We are. We are dating. Yes. I never thought I'd see myself here. But we are dating, yes. Um, my boyfriend, he's actually here. He's been a great man, great support, so. Hi. Jeffrey? Yes, Jeff. Welcome, Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey, what, what attracted you to Sydney? How brave she is and the fact that she can face life every day with a smile on her face, be extremely positive. Um, just a really fun person to be around even after the incident did happen. Um, so it's great to see her go about life happily. Um, also, she's extremely faith-filled. I've never seen somebody love God so much. I'm just happy to be able to say that I am literally living with a miracle, um, so I don't take that for granted, uh, not one day, so it's good. <laughs> I love this love connection. He loves her, and I saw her body language. She just started leaning in when he started. I love it. I love it. <laughs> we are so happy for you. Really quickly, Dr. Zamalan, I also just want to personally thank you your actions with Sydney are what the definition of what doctoring should be. Thank you for that.